a key metric, not just for e-commerce, but any business to have some sort of heartbeat tracker on the overall health of the company is the net promoter score, also known as the NPS rating. And it's typically measured by asking a customer on a scale of zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend us to a colleague or friend? Zero obviously being not likely at all, they hate you, to 10 being extremely likely. And anyone who falls between the range of zero to six is classed as a detractor, someone who's not likely to recommend your business and obviously would signify to you that you have problems. From seven to eight, these customers are called passives, meaning they're sort of on the fence between the two. And nine to 10, these are your promoters. So obviously the goal is to get as many people in the nine to 10 buckets as possible. Now, MPS is typically measured immediately post-purchase when someone makes an order for the first time. And then a lot of people as well like to measure it when the customers receive the product. I think it's important to do both because that can tell you whether you have an expectation, the reality gap and where the opportunity is in your business. Now, how is it calculated? I have a link in the article that will explain a little bit more in depth. For the purpose of this video, I want to show you how to set it up and monitor the score inside Clavio. Why inside Clavio? This is a quick and easy way to monitor the NPS score. Most brands and companies are paying hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars to monitor this NPS tracker. And this is a quick, easy, effective way that will take you under an hour to measure the score. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is cross my face off. Now, how do you collect this NPS rating using Clavio? Obviously, you're going to want to serve the customer using an email like this. And when they click on the button, that will then register their score. The first thing you need to do is go into a profile. So if you can see me here and then go to the section where it has custom properties, click add and then you can see here I've added NPS and then it has the values from zero to 10. You can just add this as a property. Now, the next thing I like to do is update the preference center. So if I come across a thing to here, you can see I've made some modifications to the preference center for our own email uh, marketing. So on the left hand side, you'll see if you navigate down, I added this as a radio button block. And you can see when you click on this, oops, sorry, not that one, this one. How likely are you to recommend us to a colleague or friend? And when you click on the radio button block, it has the custom property profile field. So if you click on this profile property, you'll get all the Clavio um, pre-selected properties and you also get the custom properties included as well that you have inside your account. So select MPS and then you want to click the label zero, property zero, these will be the values and you just add from zero to 10 like so. And you can see you can add enough one, say for example, 11, and then you just type in the filter and it will create a fresh one for you. But for the sake of this, we don't need it. So once you've done that, you'll click save and update that preference center block. Then you're going to want to create your NPS flow. So you can choose how you're going to trigger this, but let's say for example, it's triggered 21 days after the customer makes an order. You will then create an email that looks like this. I'll let you design it however you want. And what you're going to want to do is have these buttons set up. So when the customer clicks on one, it will register the response and redirect them to the preference center. You can obviously direct people to different pages on your website through the fields. But in this example, I'm going to redirect people to the preference center because this is the easiest, quickest way to get started with things. So if you click on this block here, you can see if we go into rows, every single little image that I've set up, not on this one, sorry, but you can see here, it has this piece of code, update the property link, MPS zero, and then the manage preferences here. So when the customer clicks on it, they'll go to the preference center and then it can register their score as zero there. Okay, so once that is set up, the next thing you'll want to do is create segments of the scores using the profile properties. So let's go over to here 
and you can see here I've started to prepare the MPS detractors segment. Now I haven't started to collect this yet for Magnet Monster, so no one will appear in this segment, but I want to show you how you can do it for your detractors, passives, and promoters. So if you click on properties here, this is what you'll want to select. Then you can see here, these are all the properties inside our account. Here's the NPS, go for this. And the logic obviously for detractors will be anyone who's left a score less than seven. So let me click here, NPS is less than seven. And then I'll create that segment and that will then bring up all the customers who are considered detractors. And you're just going to want to amend the logic for passives and also promoters as well. So for passives, you will have an NPS is at least six. And properties about someone NPS is at most eight. And then you would just do the same for promoters as well. You would cross that one off. And then you're just going to have it is at least nine now once you've created all those segments you'll want to create three separate ones for detractives passives and also promoters i also like to create them as well for the individual um <clears throat> mps score so everyone for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and zero of course and then you'll want to just calculate the mps score by looking at those segments and working it out as such i've left a little calculator to the article on our website that will help you immediately calculate that score with any type of sophistication. So pretty simple, straightforward to do. Okay, so let's just recap. First of all, add the custom property to a profile field, make the modifications to your preference center because that's where you'll redirect customers with the email, set up an NPS flow, decide if you want to send it immediately post-purchase as well as upon them receiving the product as well code the ratings into you here and then direct people to the preference center update your segments and then do the calculation periodically or whenever you want you can keep it in a spreadsheet set up a monthly um, task to quickly check it it should take you literally two minutes at most to do and that is it it's pretty straightforward this should take you an hour maximum to set up it'll save you hundreds if not thousands of additional software costs and it's a really effective, straightforward way to keep that heartbeat checker on the pulse of your business. Let me know if you have any thoughts, any comments, reply below. And please do subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to leave as many, create as many valuable videos teaching Clavio an email marketing strategy over the course of the next year. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.